Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be making one of my all-time favorite snacks from my childhood and that is Pop-Tarts. Now today I'm going to be making them three ways. Two that are absolute classics which is the strawberry with the sprinkles on top and then the brown sugar cinnamon and then I'm making my all-time favorite which is also I would consider a classic is the wild berry pop tart that has the purple icing with the blue drizzle going down it that's my favorite pop tart of all time so without further ado let's dive into this recipe all right guys let's make these pop tarts I'm going to show you how to make these the quickest way possible in this order so just follow along all right, so if you plan on making a fruit filling for your Pop-Tart, we are going to be making a jam out of this. So you have to let the fruit macerate first. I know, haha, ha, funny word. But in order to do this, you need a half pound of strawberries for the strawberry filling, and then an eighth of a cup or 26 grams of white sugar. And you're just gonna toss your fruit in this and let it sit for one to two hours. So one to two hours later, you will have a nice juicy pot of fruit. This draws out a lot of water and moisture, which is exactly what you are looking for. Now for our wild berry filling, all you need is three ounces of blueberries, three ounces of strawberries, and three ounces of raspberries, and then do the same process. For the brown sugar cinnamon, half cup of light brown sugar, 112 grams, two and a half teaspoons or five grams cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, two teaspoons or eight grams of all-purpose flour, and then a pinch of salt. Then you're just gonna break that down using your whisk, whisk it all together, and then make a well in the middle. Then add in two tablespoons or 24 grams of melted unsalted butter. Then just whisk that together, and boom, you have brown sugar cinnamon filling. And this stuff is very addicting. So your brown sugar cinnamon filling is completely done now. We will have to come back to the wild berry and strawberry fillings, but for now we can work on our crust while those are continuing to macerate. So we're going to chop up or cube one and a quarter cups of unsalted butter. So these don't have to be perfectly even, but you want them to be relatively even. That way they disperse through the flour evenly. Now grab yourself a food processor, you can totally use a whisk and bowl, but this will be much easier, and to that you are going to add 3 cups or 429 grams of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon or 7 grams fine sea salt, 1 tablespoon or 14 grams of granulated sugar, then we're going to close the lid and mix those dry ingredients before adding the butter. So after those have been mixed, we're going to add our cold cube butter to our flour mixture. Throw the lid back onto your food processor, and then you're going to pulse that until there are just pea-sized bits of butter left in your flour mixture. So for reference, I'm going to dump mine out into a bowl here, which you should also do. But see those little clumps of butter in there? That's what you're looking for. You want that separation. Then you're going to slowly add in water and knead this together with your hands just until it is shaggy. Then you can flour a work surface. Be sure to use a generous amount here. Dump your clumps out onto the counter and then kind of just work this together. It will come together as the butter melts a little bit. So just go for a few minutes. Kind of work quickly here before the butter melts. And then you are going to cut that dough in half. You can weigh it out to be very precise like me. Form that into two discs and then we are going to take these and cover them in plastic wrap and let them sit in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to chill just so that butter can firm back up. So after the hour has been up, your fruit should be nice and juicy, so let's make our jam. You are going to need some form of acid here, I prefer using lemon juice, fresh, but you can also use any type of vinegar or any other food acid that you can find. So I'm just juicing two lemons here. You're definitely not gonna need all that lemon juice, but I just went ahead and did two to be safe. This is going to be plenty here. Over medium high heat, begin to mash up your fruit. I tried using a whisk, but that didn't turn out well. So I used the bottom of a ceramic mug because I don't have a potato masher. Then once this gets up to heat, you are going to add in one teaspoon of acid. I use my lemon juice here, whisk that together, and then turn that down to medium. So as you can see, once it gets up here, 
adding in my lemon juice again, whisking it, and then I'm turning that down to medium and let it reduce for 15 minutes and it will eventually become jam. Whisk often so nothing burns to the bottom. And the end result is absolutely phenomenal. This strawberry jam was out of this world and the wild berry one was as well. All right, so once your dough has rested for 30 minutes and your jams are completely cool, we're going to flour a work surface, really spread this out. Then you're going to take both discs of dough and roll them out into sheets. So I'm just using a water bottle here that I have floured because I don't have a rolling pin. Turning my pastry dough 90 degrees and then we're going to roll that out after pressing it. And you want this to be about an eighth of an inch thick. I also made a template here because I thought I had an actual pop tart to use for size reference but I didn't. So I ended up with only making six pop tarts but you should yield eight to ten with this recipe. So just cut out all of your squares, set them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, and then we can assemble. So grab your jams, I just went ahead and jarred them on, and your cinnamon sugar mix as well. Alright, so for the jam pop tarts, for the strawberry and the wild berry, you can only use about one to one and a half tablespoons of jam, because you don't want this to be sputtering out the sides. You want to have about an inch of room left between the corners and sides of your pop tart that way everything holds together nicely then you're just going to press and seal these edges be sure that nothing is running out here then repeat the process with your wild berry filling now for the brown sugar cinnamon pop tart you can actually add a lot of this filling because it's not liquidy and it's not going to run out nearly as bad now to seal these pop tarts up you can put a little bit of egg wash around the tops and the edges to help them seal then we're going to dock these with a fork and straighten up the edges with a knife if you have a problem like me just don't cut too close to the center then we're going to dock this with a fork for all of our pop tarts and let them chill for 10 minutes in the refrigerator before baking. Now with the leftover scraps, I made my dogs some brown sugar pop tart bites. Now cook these on 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30 minutes or until golden brown. Every recipe that I've seen on YouTube, somebody messes these pop tarts up in some way, shape or form. For example, I see a lot of people that make the strawberry Pop-Tarts with a pink icing, which is completely wrong, okay? The strawberry Pop-Tart has a white icing, strawberry filling, and those colorful sprinkles on top. And also with the brown sugar cinnamon, the icing on top is supposed to be brown and it's supposed to have cinnamon in it. Like, come on, it's got to be right. Like, I'm picky about my childhood snacks. So, I'm going to show you how to make these the right way. So you are going to need four containers of one third cups of powdered sugar each. For the brown sugar cinnamon, you need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, just a touch of nutmeg. Then you are going to slowly add in milk until this forms a thick icing. You want these to be thick enough so they stick to the pop tarts. So whisk that together and eventually it will come to a nice thick brown sugar icing. For the strawberry icing, even simpler, just add in milk until this is nice and thick and you just need a white icing for the strawberry. Then we will add sprinkles once this is done. And for the wild berry, it's the same process. You are just going to add in your milk and then you are going to need a little bit of red gel food coloring and also a little bit of blue gel. This is going to mix together to form that nice purple color that you know and love in the wild berry pop tart. I mean, look at this, this looks pretty cool. And finally, for the blue drizzle, it's just the same process with the milk, the sugar, and then just a little bit of blue gel food coloring, and it comes to this nice bright blue. And once your pop tarts are done, they should look something like this, just a somewhat flaky texture to them, but not overly flaky and they've got this nice little buttery crust on top. Then once they're completely cooled, you can add your icing. So with the strawberry Pop-Tarts, add your icing and immediately add these sprinkles to the top in order for them to stick properly. Repeat this process until all of your icing is used. Then for the wild berry, we're just going to add our purple icing first, and then you are going to let this completely set before adding the top blue icing. 
So just cover these, you can spread them out with a spoon to make them a little bit more uniform like you see here. Then while those are setting, you can go ahead and add your brown sugar cinnamon icing to your brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts. And look at that guys, that is a classic right there. Then you can put your blue icing in a Ziploc bag and cut the corner off. I use plastic wrap here because I'm creative. And then you're just going to put this nice little pattern all the way down. And this is by far the best looking pop tart that I've made today. Now, just take a second to admire your pop tarts. Look at how good these turned out. Look at how good that looks. That's like the perfect wild berry pop tart right there. All right, I'm gonna cut these all in half and take a bite out of the middle because that's my favorite part of the pop tart, but I will also explain the crust. So let me cut these open really quick. All right, so it's cut in half. Let's taste test it. Tastes just like a wild berry pop tart. But the crust on these is so much better than a normal pop tart. It's like normal pop tarts are down here and my pop tarts. All right, so the reason that I love wild berry pop tarts is because you get the sweetness from the strawberry that's in it, but you also get the tartness from the raspberry and the blueberry. Let's go ahead and dive in to the all-time classics, strawberry and brown sugar cinnamon. All right, so here's brown sugar cinnamon. As you can see, the benefits of making your own Pop-Tarts, you can put a decent amount of filling, especially these dry ones, and as much icing as you want. But you can see the cinnamon and nutmeg literally in the icing, which is not gonna be there on a Kellogg's Pop-Tart. All right, so a normal brown cinnamon sugar pop tart is so good in the morning, but that, that is on another level as well. You really get the cinnamon flavor in the icing and the nutmeg just takes it to another level. All right, so now we're going with most people's favorite pop tart or a lot of people's favorite pop tart, the strawberry pop tart. So let's dive into that one. And I know that I was saying earlier that a lot of people make this wrong and I kind of made it wrong a little bit by using these sprinkles. I would use the sugar sprinkles if I could have found them, but I couldn't. So we're working with these, they're still crunchy and I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference, but the icing's correct. It's nice white icing and crust. Nice strawberry filling. I see why a lot of people just love a strawberry pop tart. It's definitely, I would say all three are equally good. Like the strawberry in this is absolutely amazing. The wild berry is nice and tart with a little bit of sweetness. And the brown sugar cinnamon is just a punch in the face of sweetness, but also that cinnamon taste. And this is just, this is like a perfect balance of sweet and tangy in a way. All right, so now let's get Dylan in here and see what he thinks because he's my taste tester and he just woke up. All right, everybody, Dylan's got his plate of Pop-Tarts there. All right, Dylan, dive in with the first one of your choice. What are you going with first? I think I'll go with wild berry like you did. Honestly, I wasn't expecting you to get the icing like this good. I thought it was originally gonna be a little runny, but I woke up very happy. So I'm gonna try this one out. <laughs> Filling on that is absolutely perfect, and the crust on this is so much better than a, a normal pop tart. It's not puffy like a toaster strudel, but it's more crisp like a pop. It's tart. like a perfect pop tart crust. It, it is. It's the, it's the perfect pop tart crust. I'm gonna go with brown sugar cinnamon like you did. Honestly, the icing looks 
really good and the inside does too so let's give this one a try this one's definitely just slightly a little more sweet um the inside is really good but i like the consistency of the of the wild berry inside a little bit better but it's definitely got that brown sugar cinnamon taste that we all know and love from a pop tart all right i'll save the strawberry one from last What are your thoughts? This is hands down the best one. It's definitely the best one. It's got the best consistency of the jam. The crust, well, the crust of all of them were, were equal. It's but the they're exact just, same crust. Why not? But there's just something about the jam in this one and the icing. But these, you guys gotta make these. All right, everybody, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like me to make more creations of things from our childhood, just anything that you can think of from the grocery store, any snack foods, anything, any fast food restaurants, comment something down below that you want me to cook. Also, hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a like. A lot of time and effort went into this video, so I appreciate when you guys like my videos. With that being said, I will see you guys on the next one.